okay guys uh, now let's solve this problem it is a very very simple problem uh, but slightly slightly different a train uh, of the length of 110 meters is running with a speed of 60 kmph in what time it will pass a man who is running at 6 kmph in the direction opposite to that which the train is going so what is the scenario let's draw the scenario so the train is passing suppose in this direction at a particular speed the person is moving now always we we consider a person as a dot it is moving in the opposite direction at a particular speed of 6 kmph in this case so the question is which is the time that this train will pass this running man right so as this person we consider this person as a dot try to understand this point this person is moving from this particular point to this point and this dot is moving until and unless it will completely pass the train so what is the distance that is traveled by this dot the distance of the train right so in any case if we are considering that between the uh, uh, velocity relative velocity between a train and a person you should consider the total distance covered is definitely going to be the length of the train remember when we got talk about two different trains and the relative uh, relative velocity of those two trains we always assume we always tell that the total distance covered is going to be the addition of the length of those trains but if w one is the train and another is the person then the total distance traveled is always equals to the length of that train because that's the logical here here's the person is moving at this direction so it is covering or crossing this whole length of the train right so the total distance covered here is the length of the train that is the take home message for this particular problem that's why i'm giving this problem to you okay so again as both of the things are moving so we need to talk about relative speed here or relative velocity whatever we talk about here the relative velocity here will be one is 60 kmph other one is 6 kmph so it is going to be 66 kilometer per hour but the answer should be in second so let's convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second and how can we do this using the formula by simply multiplying this km per hour uh, value by width 5 by 18 so if we simply multiply the value of km per hour in, in, uh, with 5 by 18 we simply convert it into the meter per second it's logical guys so let's do it and sorry. so 3 1 55 by 3 this is the relative speed in meter per second okay now what we need to found, find here what is the total distance travel so total distance covered here here it is equals to 110 meter because uh, the distance of the train itself right so what is the time taken by this uh, train to cross this person or the for this person to cross the train simply simply what we do this is the total distance we divide it with this this value of the velocity right so what is going to be the answer it should be 3 in the top 55 in the bottom so it will be 2 3 into 2 is 6 6 is the answer so this is the option B which is correct so it will take 6 seconds for the train to cross the person or for the person to cross the train whatever okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful guys